Okay, here we go. We're we're live. We're rolling. Okay, so act like it, please. It's a show. Hi. Hey, what if I did it? Like, you need some help. You need. Could like you a... just kind of help me get through this? Once I get going. Okay. But I can't remember what I was supposed to say. Okay, say hi to the people. Hi to the people. <laughs> here we go. Okay. Hi everybody. Hey it's, everybody. Yeah. See. See. There, you get going. You go. <laughs> After you. I'm supposed to be. Hello. Line. Hi. Hi. How y'all doing? It's life with Gwen and Joe, <laughs> and this is my lovely, beautiful, gracious wife, Gwen, and I'm Joe. Let's do another one. I don't think that one's gonna <laughs> cut. I don't think that's <laughs> cut. And every time I find myself Life with God is so good. So come join us on this fun life where we put God in the center of everything. Hey everyone, it's Life with Gwen and Joe. This is my beautiful wife Gwen, I'm Joe, and today we're gonna to talk about some very interesting statistics that have arisen from this coronavirus thing. They're, they're kind of encouraging people, if not mandating, that people stay at home and uh, don't move around so much. And that's kind of, uh, the domestic violence has gone up by what, something like 50%? That's right. Which is an unbelievable thing. And other little things that have happened along the way. What, what are some of the things that, that we can do to kind of prevent scenarios from getting aggravated at home when, when we're spending time. Well, you know that that's not happening with us. No. I mean, so, I mean, we've been spending a lot of time together uh, more than, than we've ever been able to. And, you know, it's, <laughs> we're, it's created we're, the opposite. We're, we're closer. We're so busy most of the time that we're actually embracing and embellishing staying home and slowing down. For example, we have been doing a lot more walking and talking and uh, we've been cooking together, uh, playing games, uh, doing a lot with children, working together, reaching out for counsel and making sure that we're communicating to everyone as best as we can. And there's dancing, we're always dancing. And most importantly, you add humor to the marriage. Lots of laughter is essential so it's actually worked really good for us, but some people not so much, and um, that's a little scary. It is scary. So for us, um, I see that what God's done in our situation is that time only created for us to be closer. And then if time together is creating more anger and more angst and more animosity toward uh, your spouse or your children, then there's there's something there's something at the heart of that that's very very wrong. Let's return to the scriptures and see if we can't find the secrets of what's happening. We're in Ephesians 5. Wives submit to your husbands as to the Lord, for the husband is the head of the wife as Christ is the head of the church, his body of which he is the savior. Now as the church submits to Christ, so also wives should submit to their husbands in everything. Now for the husband's side of it, husbands, love your wives just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her to make her holy, cleansing her by washing with water through the word and to present her to himself as a radiant church without stain or wrinkle or any other blemish, but holy and blameless. That is beautiful. beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? In the same way, husbands ought to love their wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. And that, that, that's pretty profound. But uh, if, if we could really kind of adhere to that, I think it would preclude a lot of the things that are going on with, with some of the aggravations that people are facing, kind of being cooped up the way they are. And, um, you know, even when, if this coronavirus thing wasn't happening, I think that that, that sets a pretty good precedence for how a man needs to look at his, his wife and how a wife should, should look at her husband. So. Oh, it's huge. I mean, when you think about like um, the, the profoundness of that, that passage, I know I've read it, uh, if I've read it once, I've read it a hundred times and I still uh, can't absorb really what it's saying all in one, one um, I guess, reading. Uh, when I think about how the, 
that God is using the church, the scripture is using the church as the, as, as the husband, so to speak, and uh, to, to the wife. I mean, if you, if you are submitting to your husband, then in everything, then how could, how could there be anger? How could there be angst? How could there be anxiety? Uh, you're just, you're, you're getting this opportunity to submit. And then Christ, he said he laid his life down. That's what the husband does. He lays his life down <clears throat> and gives up his own mm -hmm. life for her, for the wife, to make her radiant and beautiful and pure. I mean, think about the focus. So what is the husband focused on? How can I lay my life down to make her radiant? How can I lay my life down to make her beautiful uh, and, and spotless, meaning pure from sin? How can I lay my life down? Think about how many men can honestly say that they have spent their life thinking about how can I help my wife lay down all her sin? And then at the same time, how many women are spending their time thinking about what can I do? What can I do to submit? What can I do to take care of? Like cooking or, or just subjects, that discussions that we've got to have over the last uh, few weeks because of all this has only brought us closer as I'm learning more and more and learning more of his likes and dislikes. And uh, I, I'm anxious to go in there and, and find a way to, to be even closer and to submit even more so that he's happy, so that you're happy. And I you achieve that amazingly. I'm, oh. I'm, I'm astounded at how, how amazing Gwen is um, she, she's such a good companion. And guys, I know that it's easy to uh, let things in the world, um, either your hobbies or the pressures from work or just just the, the daily things that, that, that come at us. It's easy to kind of let those things take precedence in your life. But we're, we're, we're supposed to put nothing before God, but very close second, it says, a man shall love his wife like Jesus loved the church. And I don't think you can get too much more specific than that. That's an amazing thing, and I try and do that every day he with Gwen. He does. She deserves it. The things that she does make, makes it easy for me to want to treat her that way. And mm. so there's this symbiosis when you start paying attention to what the Bible says about a marriage, and um, it, it, it really does work. And I am, I am the benefactor of, of such, a, of such a, <laughs> a great lady. And you are so wonderful. Oh, I am praising God because this is, it works. So we're just getting closer and closer. There's no domestic quarrels going on here. What we're, our prayer is for all of you all out there listening, that you all can take the challenge, take this time to lay every selfish thing down and, and stop taking things personally and realize that everyone has moods, but in those moods, to be empathetic to the mood, not to not to make the whole, the mood of someone else, you know, your challenge. Don't be competitive with your spouse. Be empathetic, be loving, be caring, as the Bible says, take care of your wife as you do your own body. No one hates their body. They, they clothe, they feed. And I mean, th these things together, it endears and makes for oneness and companionship. And so that's our prayer out there. Get closer and get closer to your children. Amen. I love it. I love, I love this uh, time that God's given us. And I'm thankful. The, the closer I am to him, and the more I do for him, the more I love him, and vice versa. So, am I a lucky guy or what? <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> love you guys. Thank love you for joining us. We're praying for your household. See you next time. Good to be with you. Some people get closer to each other in Just in, back off when love. you're saying that. No, no, I mean, honestly, some people, some people, like, get closer. <laughs> okay, make up something. <clears throat> Quick.
camera's rolling. Make up something. Where's the camera? <laughs> Is that camera pointer to us? Be so good to be, good to be with. Don't you know now that there are times I get lonely? I try to fill this hole up in my heart with you only. To find that you've already been there and know what's best for me. You feel the rest. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell so you are notified when we have a new video.